Okay, Zebulun, you want to tell us where we are today? Exodus chapter 14, possibly through 15. Thank you. Um, are we familiar with Exodus chapter 14 at all? <clears throat> I think so. You think so? What are we familiar with it about? Well, I kind of cheated. Um, <laughs> Pharaoh, Pharaoh chasing Israelites. Yes. Yeah. I, I, Pharaoh pursues the Israelites. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are correct, yeah. Yep. And you are familiar with that. He is, yeah. Um, and, uh, let's see, where I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump in here. Um, I guess I'll start on uh, verse 3. For Pharaoh will say to the children of Israel, they are entangled in the land. The wilderness has shut them in. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart, that he shall follow after them. And I will be honored upon Pharaoh and upon all his host, that the Egyptians may know that I am the Lord. And they did so. And it was told the king of Egypt that the people fled. And the heart of Pharaoh and all of his servants was turned against the people. And they said, Why have we done this, that we have let Israel go from serving us? And he made ready his chariot, and took his people with him. And he took six hundred chosen chariots, and all the chariots of Egypt, and captains over every one of them. And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and he pursued after the children of Israel. And the children of Israel went out with a high hand, but the Egyptians pursued after them. All the horses and chariots of Pharaoh and his horsemen and his army and overtook them and camping by the sea beside uh, I can't pronounce these two places. And when Pharaoh drew nigh, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians marched after them. And they were sore afraid, and the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord. And they, say, uh, and they said unto Moses, because there was no graves in Egypt, Hast thou taken us away to die in the wilderness? Wherefore hast thou dealt the uh, wherefore hast thou dealt thus with us to carry us forth out of Egypt? Is not this the word that we did tell thee in Egypt, saying, Let us alone, that we may serve the Egyptians? For it had been better for us to serve the Egyptians than that we should die in the wilderness. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show you, uh, which he shall show to you today. For the Egyptians, whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. <clears throat> and we know what happens, right? Yeah, well, I found it interesting that the Lord, you know, hardened Pharaoh's heart, you know, to, to show his, to show his greatness, you know. Um, so I want to read just a couple more here. Um, and Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. And the, 
the Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. Um, you know, the whole chapter is definitely worth reading, but I know it's kind of lengthy today. Um, over in, uh, where's our other reading today? First Samuel. First Samuel. Did I tell you what chapter? I didn't, did I? You do? Did I tell you? You said it and I heard it. What is it? Twelve. Yeah, thank you. First Samuel 12. Um, we'll start at verse 22. For the Lord will not forsake his people for his great name's sake, because it hath pleased the Lord to make you his people. Moreover, as for me, <clears throat> God forbid that I should sin against the Lord in ceasing to pray for you. But I will teach you the good and the right way. Do we know what that is? I don't see anybody said. We thought it was a rhetorical question. It is not a rhetorical question. And this is what Samuel says. Only fear the Lord and serve him in truth with all your hearts. For consider how great things he hath done for you. Amen. But if ye shall still do wickedly, <coughs> excuse me, ye shall be consumed, both ye and your king. Um, <coughs> you know, if if the Israelites would have tried to have fought Pharaoh's army. They would have lost bad when they, you know. Moses told them to do what? Yeah. Stand still yeah. and see the salvation of the Lord, you know. Just don't do nothing. Watch what the Lord's going to do. You know, and Samuel's, you know, telling the, telling the people, and for the Lord will not forsake his people for his name's sake, because it has pleased the Lord to make you his people. Moreover, as for me, God forbid that I should sin against the Lord in ceasing to pray for you. But I will teach you the good and the right way. Only fear the Lord and serve him in truth with all your heart. For consider how great things he hath done for you. That's, you know, truly, I think if we stop and think about, you know, consider you know, what God has truly done for us. Um, how we would serve him, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I know we talk a, a lot about you know, fearing the Lord, not being scared, you know, not like we're walking on eggshells or anything like that, not that type of fear, um, but just his awesomeness. Susan Spurgeon the other morning was talking about fearing the Lord, she said, but... Did you visit her again? I did. We had, we had coffee together. Mm -hmm. um, she probably likes tea more than coffee. Yeah, you know. She's not real picky these days. Um, but her, speaking of fearing the Lord, she said, fear, our fear should be that we fear not to be close to him, that we fear not to feel him, that we should fear not to, to have his blessings, that we should fear not to be in his presence. Mm -hmm. Right, right. I thought that was pretty yep. profound to look at it. In that manner, even though it's yep. not, a, that's not an accurate um, description of that verse. It still is an applicable mm -hmm. thing oh, to absolutely. consider yep. in when we think of <clears throat> God. 
Well, you know, what do we think of when we think of, hear the word fear? Well, We're, day it's to hover and fear, you know. Yep. Power Scare, down yeah. and... Um, um, you know, the word tells us to, you know, come boldly to, to the throne. Not in arrogance and, you know, being puffed up and stuff, but you know, to come boldly to the, to the throne of God. Not demanding, but presenting your request to somebody mm. who loves you, your Father who loves you. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah. yes. You can't come up on coffee. Correct, thank you, that's yeah. true. That's true. That gets okay. you guys. That gets you guys nowhere, does it? Makes me wonder how he knows what cocky means. <laughs> Thinking you're the best. Thinking that's you're the cocky. best. Yeah, how that's do you know? Being cocky. That's being cocky. What can God truly do, you know, for for people that you know are truly seeking Him? Um, you know, the the Egyptians were right there, <clears throat> you know, on the. On the Israelites, I mean, they were right there. They could, you know, the, the Israelites, you know, saw the dust and saw the men marching. <clears throat> we are going to die. Moses is telling them, just do what I tell you to do, you know, and it's going to be all right. If we do what the Word tells us to do, we'll be all right. You know, they, after the, they crossed through the Red Sea, um, the Egyptians headed in, and we know what happens to them. They didn't make it. Yep. Um, ah, sorry. Okay, you watch the movie. <laughs> read, the, read the yeah, read the book. Um, but it's not like their life was all better after that. A lot of that was their own doing. Well, it was, and, and the same with with us. But it's not like. Um, Oh, we're on the other side of the sea. Ah, life of ease now. Right. Yeah, that's not how it works. It's just not how it works. Um, and yes, a lot of that was, was their own doings. Uh, what Samuel told them, obviously a, a few years later, um, only fear the Lord and serve him in truth with all your heart. It makes it simple. We make it hard. We do. We make it horribly hard. We try to figure things out. and For the the Lord will not forsake his people for his great name's sake. Because it has pleased the Lord to make you his people. You know, God wants us to be his people. And pretty much all we have to do <clears throat> what did Samuel say? Fear the Lord and serve him in truth with all your heart. Um, I'd like to read a verse. Okay. Deuteronomy 6 4. Okay. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Verse 5. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul and all thy might. And Samuel yes. says what? Serve the Lord with gladness. Serve the, uh, fear the Lord. Fear the Lord and serve him in truth with all your heart. Mm -hmm. With all your heart. You know, he doesn't say with a little bit of your heart. Part of your heart. With almost all your heart. Half of your heart. Half of your heart. With all your heart. If we don't do it with all our heart, then there's room for something else, isn't there? Well, I don't know if this really had a direct focus or not, but um, just uh, fearing the Lord and serving Him in all truth and with our whole heart. And he won't forsake us. As long as we do that right so I mean you want to pray for us this morning okay amen 
Thank you.